Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Happy Halloween 2020. It has been a crazy year and I always have these big intentions every Halloween to put out a massive 3D printing video focused on just some really large and crazy 3D prints. And I'm always behind schedule. And just like any other year, that never happens. So instead, we're gonna be taking a look at last minute 3D printing projects that you can crank out before Halloween. Let's check it out. All right, so I have a number of different 3D printers here that are very orange Halloween inspired that I'm working with for today's video. The first of which here is the Prusa Mini. We then have the Epax E6 2K mono screen resin 3D printer. And then we have the big boy on the end, which is the Epax E10 midsize 4K mono screen resin 3D printer. I will have dedicated videos on both of these coming very soon. The E10 probably before the end of the week here, but I'm really excited to show off some of the prints that I've done with these printers. And again, with the emphasis of being last minute and being able to print these in under 24 hours. And in some cases, you can crank these out really, really quickly. So the first prints I wanna show off are these print in place, zero supports needed prints. They're designed by Flex Factory and they're these crazy, awesome print in place hands here. These are get little articulated joints here for the fingers. They print in just one piece directly on the printer, no supports. And I ended up doing just a filament change process here with the Prusa Mini and Prusa Slicer. They make it super easy to swap in and out filaments that you can specify uh, during the actual slicing process. So I swapped this out with some white filament here for the bone at the top. They also have designed a flex in place uh, a print in place foot as well that has the same capabilities and a bone sticking out. I completely forgot to print that even though I purchased it. Because I printed this at 0.2 millimeter layer height and a 20% infill, it took about five and a half hours to print. And the Prusa Mini made quick work of this file. It's a really fun one that my kids have really enjoyed playing with. And next up by Flex Factory are their print in place skeletons. You've probably seen these over on Facebook or Instagram. These are wildly popular prints right here. Again zero supports needed, print in place, and the best part is, again, it's not only kid-friendly and they have multiple iterations of this for you to print with, but they also have a larger version for you to run off and 3D print. So, of course, I had to go off and print this over on the CR10 S4. And if I remember correctly, the upper body portion here was a eight hour print and the lower bo body portion was only a four hour print with a six millimeter nozzle. Really, really impressive. And what I'm gonna do right now is just use a little bit of 3D glue so that we can actually combine these two body halves together. So if you've never worked with 3D glue before, this is their PLA solution. This is a trial bottle that they offer on their website. So if you wanted to order something a little bit smaller before buying into a larger one, you can do that here. But here it comes with this little bit of solution and a little bit goes a long way with these prints. So I'm gonna put some on here onto the joint, seal them up nice and nice and tightly here. A really, really strong chemical bond with these two PLA printed parts. And there we go. Now I have a much, much bigger skeleton. Uh, it also has a, I printed the one that has the hole in the back of the head so I can easily hang this up as a decoration. My kids are gonna absolutely freak out when they see this. I haven't actually shown them that I printed a much larger version of the same skeleton that they've been fighting over here. And by the way, this one was about a three hour print. Uh, I believe it was like three and change for the smaller skeleton. And again, this was like a 12 hour print in total for both halves of the larger skeleton here. Next up, we have this great angry, angry little evil pumpkin that was created by the folks over at Chaos Cortex. They have been on a, just a wild creating rampage here over the past few weeks. They're doing this whole Sculptober challenge where they're creating a new 3D printable file every day throughout the month of October that's available via their Patreon. And this is one of the files that's available from their Patreon that Chelsea has created. It's just this wildly evil looking <laughs> pumpkin that I absolutely loved. I printed this here on the Epax E6 
uh, resin 3D printer with their Epax hard resin. It's a beautiful dark resin. And I forgot to actually hollow this out and I love the weight of it. It feels nice and heavy. And it's just this really cool, fun Halloween print. I think this one here was about a seven hour print, if I remember correctly, at 0 0.05 millimeter layer height. So it printed really quick on this mono screen machine here. And also, if you follow me over on the social medias, either Twitter or Instagram, you might have seen that the always brilliant Raf Grassetti has created this Nightmare Before Christmas ding, 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 ding t-shirt here. Jack here from the movie. And uh, he's created two variations that are free for you to run off and download. And I printed this one here. This is like the evil version or the menacing version of him here. And printed this again on the Epax E6. And it was again around a seven hour print if I remember correctly. And it's just a beautiful, clean, really clean design that he's created here. Lots of little details that come out great over on a resin printer. You again don't need necessarily a resin printer. I've seen some folks printing these on FDM machines and they've looked really good. If you're not already following him, by the way, you're absolutely crazy. Not that he needs any other further shout out, but I'll have links to basically all the designers files here, but you're going to want to make sure to check this one out. And again, you've got both versions that are available for you to download and 3D print. One quick shout out that I didn't print on any of these machines. This is actually a print that I did last year that I showed off in another video. This is from Mini World 3D. This was his Dracula castle. And this is one of my all-time favorite prints that I've done. It's just this wildly cool print here that was done over on the Rays 3D N2 Plus. This is actually, uh, there's actually a new version available that you can run off and print that is from the Castlevania games. And it's one that I really had this grand idea. I was gonna reprint it and have this so I could show them side by side. And I just never got around to it. So uh, I wanted to shout that out there. Make sure to check that out as well. I think you can find those over on my mini factory, but these are just really cool, fun prints to have on display around your house for the Halloween season. All right, now let's talk about some of the prints that I did off of this massive Epax E10 resin 3D printer. So if you saw my video from the other week where I talked about how you can use your iPad or Android app uh, with Nomad Sculpt and rescale some of your prints to get the perfect fit. This was the mask that I was showing off. It's from Wexter and it's this beautifully detailed skull mask. And again, it fits really nicely here. Normally, normally I wouldn't recommend putting resin and even cured, obviously cured resin directly on your skin. Uh, but this is just something that I like showing off. I'm not necessarily going to wear this around. By the way, it is not PPE certified or safe or anything like that. But you could probably wear an official mask underneath this and uh, be able to rock this pretty safely. Normally, I like to put down at least a little bit of primer over these before attempting to wear anything directly on my skin. But again, I'm just really putting these out for display or for videos here. One other file that I want to mention that he did, basically it's the same variation of the mask, but it's a rotten version of the mask. So there's lots and lots of crazy little details that if you have a resin 3D printer, and more specifically a mid-size resin 3D printer, like this machine here, the EPAC, E10, you're going to be able to print this nice and easily on that unit. I think, if I remember correctly, this was an 11 hour print over on the Epax E10 printer. And finally, we have the man himself, Freddy of the Krugers from the Nightmare on the Elm Street series. This was designed by Photos Mint. He is just a, such a talented. 3D designer, and I, you've, if you've seen my videos, you'll know I love printing a lot of his busts, but this one, I was already messaging, like, as soon as I saw him designing this, I had to run off and print it. I'm a, I'm a kid from the 80s, so I grew up watching these movies as a young, influential child and shouldn't be watching these campy horror movies <laughs> that at that age really freaked me out. But this is such a wild print that turned out great. I printed this not on any of these, but I printed it on the Elgu Saturn and I forgot that it's in the other room and I'm not gonna go get it and drag it back over here. But <laughs> it printed great on that unit. And again, it was one of these that printed, if I remember correctly, it was like, eight or 10 hours? Man, I can't remember. I'll have the info down below there of how long it took, but I printed this in Ciratec fast as well. And again, the details are just wonderful on this. It comes in multiple parts as well, so the hand prints separately, so you can make sure to really get those details 
nicely printed before attaching it to the body as well as the base. I cleaned these on the Elgoo Wash and Cure Station. Actually, all of the resin prints I cleaned and cured using that unit there. Again, if you're interested in printing any of the files that I've shown off here, and I highly recommend you run off and print all of them if you can, if you have the time, I'll have links down below to all of these amazing designers pages where you can run off and find these files. Please make sure you're out there supporting some of those amazing artists that are out there in the community. There are just so many creative folks out there. I wish I could feature more in this and that it could be an hour long video, but I tried to make this as quick as possible for you guys. Again, meant to be, let's focus in on some of the quick wins, the quick prints that you can get done before the holiday. Holiday? Is it a holiday? It's not really a holiday. Before the Halloween <laughs> rolls around here. I just want to say thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what your favorite horror movie is because I have been on a binge of watching some new movies and maybe there's one that I haven't seen yet that I should check out. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.